France is going through sad bloody nights. Bloody as blood has been shed on the streets of Paris, reportedly by the ISIS terrorists. Many express condolences, even the Saudi king and the US president. The same ones whose involvement in creating the ISIS project is being exposed more than ever. All right, we'd better have a flashback to find out where the ISIS emerged from. Western media in November 2014 revealed that the ISIS was established as a result of a mistake by the government of the United States in Camp Bukha during a process of creating an alliance between Al-Qaeda and the Ba'ath Party. When al-Baghdadi was released from the American Bukha prison in Iraq, he had already turned from a typical Ba'athi fellow into a super professional terrorist who had established a deep and rare relationship with both Ba'ath Party and the Al-Qaeda in Iraq. Considering that this story happened in an American prison and through a special process, the relationship could not be regarded as a mere coincidence. After the creation of ISIS, which was an outcome of creating an alliance between the Ba'ath Party and the Al-Qaeda in Iraq, the US dropped weapons for ISIS forces and claimed that it was done by accident. Through a similar process, the United States trained forces in the name of moderate Syrian rebels who would join the ISIS through two or three intermediaries. The process did not end there and reports reveal that ISIS had been enjoying financial ads from the US and its allies. Look, ISIS got started through funding from our friends and allies because as people will tell you in the region, if you want somebody who will fight to the death against Hezbollah, you don't put out a recruiting poster and say, you know, sign up for us, or we're going to make a better world. You go after zealots and you go after these religious fundamentalists. That's who fights Hezbollah. Of course, no one should be surprised by U.S. support for ISIS, as this was not unprecedented and American politicians had already admitted having supported Al-Qaeda. I mean, let's remember here, the people we are fighting today, we funded. We funded. When the 9-11 tragedy occurred in the U.S. and why the main perpetrators of this event have not yet been introduced to the world, the U.S. government launched attacks against Iraq and Afghanistan as a response and started to spread insecurity and terrorism in the region for a decade. This act of war in turn distracted public opinion from Israeli crimes, the spread of terrorism in West Asia and set many Muslim countries against one another. What are we going to witness after the Paris attacks?